Let's have a look at Chelsea against Burnley. Uh, I'm impressed with everything Antonio Conte does. It's not been a massive revolution at, uh, at Stamford Bridge. It's been an evolution, adding one or two players, and Golo Kante. Uh, lots of talk, of course, this week about John Terry coming back into the England fold. I put a Twitter poll out last week and asked the question, should John Terry be brought back by Sal Sam Allardyce in the England fold? And it was 70% no, 30% yes. So that uh, if Sam's watching that, he follows me on Twitter, Big Sam, official Big Sam, I think it is, then uh, then the England fans will have spoken. Uh, but still very much a very good servant for his club, Chelsea. And I think that they will beat Burnley relatively comfortably. That's nothing taken away from Burnley's cracking result against uh, Liverpool. Really good um, goal by uh, Sam Vokes and, of course, uh, by Andre Gray. But I'm going to go Chelsea to be very strong at home this season, which is why they'll be, for me, top two or top three. I'm going to go for a solid 2-0 victory. Crystal Palace against AFC Bournemouth. Palace without a win. Bournemouth struggling to keep clean sheets. Could be an early six-pointer, dare I say. I don't think either side will necessarily go down. I think that they've both got uh, decent enough squads to be able to carry themselves through a, a tough Premier League season. Uh, but Christian Benteke, um, a player that I saw and idolised for a short spell at Aston Villa. If you serve him, he will score. Now that sounds obvious, but Liverpool didn't serve him, so he didn't score lots of goals. Liverpool, it's pass, 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 pass. Rapier-like movement. Benteke, get it up to him. He holds it up, isolated against the defender, turns, and he's got magic in his boots. He's got that X factor if you keep him involved in a game. So I'm going to go... Um, Palace to break their duck. 1-0 win. Benteke to get himself off the mark. Everton against Stoke. Um, well, Romelu Lukaku looks... I love strikers. I love talking about strikers. Uh, Romelu Lukaku looks if he's committed his future to uh, Everton, which is a good thing. I thought they were very bright and lively in their first game uh, against Spurs. Um, I think that they are obviously... A work in progress as well, losing John Stones, bringing in Ashley Williams, that's going to take time to bed in. Apparently no interest in Joe Hart, which I'm a little bit surprised about. Um, but for me, this is going to be a comfortable Everton win. If they are going to get into Europa League or even threaten Champions League football, they've got to do a mini version of what Manchester City did against Stoke last week, which is pass the ball around for fun. Getting around a very stubborn but um, quite formulaic Stoke City back four and midfield. And if they do that, Goodison Park, I think that they will win. And I think, again, I'm probably thinking 2-1, 3-1 uh, to the Toffees. As for Stoke, I mean, it's very difficult for Mark Hughes. He hasn't got loads of money to spend. Um, loads of money being 15, 20, 25 million pounds on a player. I think his work in recent seasons in trying to... Uh, change Stoke City from a formulaic classic Tony Pulis 4-4-2 or variation of thereof um, hard work inside has worked but you have to have big budgets to be able to then go on to the next level and buy yourself a, a 30 season 30 goal a season striker for example which they don't have um, so I think that for Stoke City it might be a little bit of a step back this, this year particularly with the spending of clubs in front of them I'm going to go for a solid Everton to Stoke City and nil victory. Uh, the Champions of England uh, kick off 3pm um, Saturday against Swansea City. And in their first game against Tull, they got it wrong. And by got it wrong, I mean that they slowed the game down, that they tried to, to pass the ball too much. Um, maybe there is that little, oh, we can make this transition fairly comfortably. From, um, from being champions of England to then playing high-profile friendlies, you know, Barcelona, Celtic, etc., etc., and playing a bit more football. But what are Leicester City about? Discipline, organisation, hard work, 4-4-2, give it to Mares on the right, he trots forward, little balls through to Vardy that goes on and scores. Been very, very impressed, by the way, um, of the early performances of, uh, of Ahmed Moussa, Little bit of a dilemma for um, Claudio Ranieri because Vardy up top, Murray's on the right, Okazaki playing off Vardy, I think still works, a tremendously hard-working player, Shinji Okazaki. 
But then he brought Musa on. I think he started the game and was very good against Tool. Last game, um, he came on over on the left-hand side, I think, for Marky Albrighton. Is that I would play Musa out on the left for two or three games. Rapid pace, gets past people, delivery into the box. Might just get Leicester City off and running. Be a tough game for them against Swansea. that have had a couple of decent results, but Hull City did go down uh, to South Wales and turn them over. 1-0 to the champions uh, of England. Next game, Southampton against uh, Sunderland. Um, I think it's going to be a tough old season for David Moyes. Um, again, getting into debate and writing columns recently about David Moyes. Sunderland fans saying, come on Stan, we need a bit of stability, we need boring. That's what David Moyes gives us. Um, I take all of that on board, but... If you've seen his punditry over the last 12 months, man doesn't know players, systems. It looks as if he's kind of like gone from Man United, it's hurt him. Sociedad, bit deflated, still got kudos in the Premier League. So somebody down the bottom half of the table will take him, but just looks like yesterday's man. And I think Sunderland will struggle again this season. Um, so they play Southampton at home. Uh, again, t tough start to the season for them. I think they're in spells in the first half against Manchester United at Old Trafford. They were the better team. Couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Um, obviously, when you lose uh, quality players, they've lost Mane, 11 goals last season. They lost Pella. I think he was around the same kind of uh, goal amount. They're playing Shane Long up front. Good playing off somebody. Not sure he's a great line leader for a number of games. Uh, I think that goals is going to be a massive issue for Southampton. That said, I think that they will beat Sunderland. And I think they'll beat them comfortably. I'm going to go for 2-0. Uh, Watford against Arsenal. The narrative of every season. In Arsenal, we trust. Or in Arsenal, we rust. Um, talk of Johnny Evans for £25 million. I mean, I'll, Johnny Evans is a Premier League winner. I don't know whether he was there when they won the European Cup. Um, a solid club man. But how many more players are Sunderland going to get from Manchester United, that, uh, that or, uh, whether it be directly or, or round the houses? Um, you know, Adnan Yanezai going to, to Sunderland, you know, Johnny Evans going to West Brom and then the talk of Arsenal buying him. I mean, if Arsenal are looking to buy a central defender that is aggressive that maybe could do a job for them in the Champions League. You know, I'm not convinced that, that Johnny Evans is necessarily the man. Um, done a decent job for West Brom. Um, but it seems to be, once you leave Man United, it's, it's the same argument that when you used to lose, leave Liverpool that you'd go down a step or two. How many ex-Manchester United players have actually gone on to do better having been at West Brom, having been at Sunderland, having been wherever. So it's a, it, that would be a crazy move for, for, uh, for Arsenal. Awesome You'd better play in the 12 million for Ashley Williams, surely. Just come off the back of a good Euros. Playing against European quality uh, teams. Maybe at this stage of his career would have really fancied having a crack at the Champions League. Anyway, um, problem for Arsenal will be Giroud when he comes back missing too many chances. Alexis isn't a striker. Ozil will get his assists, but I think he's a bit of a flat-track bully. By that, I mean doing it against teams where Arsenal are expected to turn over teams two or three or four. I know that I'm going to get lots of Guna saying, but his assists against the top five or six were great. But still, I want to see him boss run a game. And I don't see that against the very, very best teams. Um, having said that, I think that they will go to Watford and they will keep lots of the ball. Watford will be very aggressive in the first 15, 20 minutes of play, um, as they always are like Bournemouth. This first 15 minutes is important for those sides to try and get momentum. Um, Watford did go 1-0 up against Chelsea last week. I'm going to go for the draw, which would mean a start to the season without a win for the, uh, for the Gooners. 1-1. You want 50 quid's worth of uh, free bets? Of course you do. All you need to do is go to boilsports.com forward slash S-T-A-N. Stan, come on!